Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry, and in this video, I want to share with you a project that I've been working on for a couple weeks now uh, that I just got finished up. Um, it is a aviary that we built for uh, some of our birds that we decided we wanted to set outside and uh, hopefully get them to go broody in a naturalistic setting. Uh, for those of you who know me, uh, you know that I keep most of my birds indoors in battery type cages, uh, but we just thought we'd give this a try and see how it works out. Um, basically, the aviary is sitting on a four inch thick concrete slab. Uh, there used to be a metal tool shed here, but it rusted out, so I tore it down. Uh, but the slab is sloped towards all four corners, so hopefully, you know, any water that gets in there will run off. Um, the aviary is built out of two by four pressure treated lumber. And right now, as everybody knows, lumber is a little bit uh, pricey, but I thought I'd bite, bite the extra cost and go ahead and build this and get this project done. Uh, what we did, the aviary measures uh, eight foot deep and 10 foot wide. And what we did was we, we built the two outer walls first and then uh, added in our, our cross pieces to give us our width. Um, the front is six inches tall. I'm sorry, six feet tall and the back is uh, five feet tall. And the reason we did that is the hardware cloth that I purchased was in 36 inch rolls. And I kind of built the, the aviary to fit what wire I had. <clears throat> now the wire that we um, used on the bottom of the aviary is a PVC coated hardware cloth, half inch hardware cloth. And the top is a non-coated uh, galvanized uh, half inch hardware cloth. Um, we also put, uh, a lattice up around the bottom half of the uh, cage. We wanted to supply a little bit of, of shade and uh, also to help protect the wire a little bit. Um, all the bracing that we put in, you can see we've got uh, two by four, um, 45 degree angles that we cut and put in place that, you know, helped sturdy it up really good. Uh, I also took and put uh, uh, steel angles in most of the corners like these front corners the back corners at the bottom and along the chair rail there So uh, that helps stiffen it up pretty good uh, the Wire was stapled on using half-inch galvanized upholstery staples and they hold really good uh, allows you to get a good stretch and, and Staple it down and it's not going to go anywhere uh, the top is uh, one inch um, poultry wire basically we call it chicken wire and then I've got a, uh, a tarp just a regular 8 foot by 10 foot uh, poly tarp that I put over that one to supply a little bit of shade and two to keep the bulk of the rain out of, uh, of the cage on the door I built the door out of uh, two by two furring strips the same stuff that I use when I build all my uh, indoor cages uh, basically, we just framed it out, put 45s in each corner to keep it square and, you know, keep it from going anywhere. And also, um, I installed a hasp, a uh, little latch here, and then a doorknob or a door handle uh, just for pulling inside. I also put a, a lock on the inside so when I go inside to do any work, I can uh, close the door behind me and uh, latch it and it's not going to go anywhere. Um, the... Like I said, the lower half is covered with the, the lattice, but the substrate inside is uh, a combination of dirt and sand mix, and that's about two to three inches deep, and, and it's also mounted, so it's, it's a little bit deeper in the middle of the cage than it is towards around the outer edges, and that's so any water that does get in there you know, can run off and hopefully drain out. <clears throat> now, the furniture inside the house, um, I've got some rocks, and branches and I kind of piled it up to make it look you know like a little natural setting I've also got a, a hide box that I built and I put a little bit of uh, uh, pine shavings in there and uh, I've been noticing a lot of birds have been laying eggs in there and they also uh, sleep in there at night and then I built a little uh, kind of like a, a covered uh, house for the water uh, originally I had feed in there too but I moved the feed to the center of the uh, room or the center of the aviary and uh, it's outside the house it's pr it's pretty well protected with the tarp so it's not going to get any water on the food um, 
Another thing I threw in there, I don't know if you can see it from there, uh, I put a small um, chair inside there and uh, me or my wife can come out in the morning, you know, and have coffee and sit here and watch the birds. So you know, I thought that'd be kind of neat to do. But uh, all in all, the project went really well. Um, along these sides here, uh, stapling these, what we did was uh, when we were rolling out these longer uh, rolls of wire, uh, we would staple a uh, two by two to one end of the wire. We'd go down to the end and we would staple that end to the aviary. And then I have a person on this end grab the two by two and pull the wire tight. And we'd go through and staple it. And uh, we, got, we got a pretty good tout, wi tout uh, wire all around the aviary. Also, I don't know how well you can be able to see this, but on the uh, tarp, uh, the tarp's got grommets all the way around the edges. And what I did was I took uh, just some regular uh, two and a half inch screws and uh, also some pieces of this uh, lattice. And I drilled a hole through the lattice and I put the screw through the lattice and then through the grommet. And what that does is it'll just, it gives it a little bit of room to move around, but it'll also hold it in place so the tarp's not gonna come off in, in under uh, heavy winds. So uh, let me take you guys inside a minute and I will show you uh, inside the uh, aviary. You can kind of, you know, look around and see. We don't have a whole bunch of birds in there now. I think there's like 20 in there now. I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to keep out here. Um, I don't want so many that it gets, you know, messed up uh, with, you know, poop and whatnot real fast. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe 30 35 birds, you know, at the most out here, but we'll see how it goes. Like I say, we just got it done. So we're still kind of learning on this deal, but um, I think it's, you know, gonna turn out really well. Another nice thing uh, with a dirt floor and it's a dirt sand mix, I can take a, uh, a regular garden rake and just rake the top stuff off, shovel it over here onto my uh, manure pile. And then just using the, the garden rake, just kind of rough it up a little bit and turn the stuff in. Uh, to keep it pretty clean. And that's been working real well so far. Another thing I wanna do, um, and I haven't had a chance to do it yet, but I'm gonna put plants all around the outside of the aviary, maybe one on each side of the door, and uh, a couple on both sides, just to one, kinda hide the birds a little bit from the neighbors, and two, um, provide a little more shade. We are in the middle of summer right now, and it's rainy season, so hopefully the plants uh, not only will block the sun, but they will help, you know, deter the rain from blowing in through the lattice. So uh, there's one other thing that I was thinking about doing, and that is adding a second two by four all the way around the bottom edge of the uh, aviary. The aviary is not uh, hard mounted to the concrete slab right now. So what I can do is I can lift it up, stick another two by four under each of these edges, and that's gonna lift it up um, you know, another inch and a half, almost two inches. And what I'm thinking of doing is on the two by four that's on the bottom, I'll notch it out in the corners and maybe staple some wire over that just to allow the, the uh, water to drain out a little bit easier. So guys, I, I know I didn't go into real in depth on building this thing, but it's, uh, it's really simple. I mean, you can kind of watch the video and see how we assembled it. And uh, you could actually design one, um, you know, to fit your needs uh, using these basic plans. I think one of the biggest thing is, is to make sure that you've got plenty of 45s uh, and even the angle braces. That's really going to help stiffen things up and make it sturdy, um, especially on a cage or on an aviary that is nothing but framework with wire wrapped around it. Um, like I say, it, it stiffened it up pretty good. So, uh, oh, another thing is uh, my Caternix Corner Boulevard sign. Uh, that was a gift from my wife uh, last Christmas. So that was uh, pretty nice. I decided to hang that over the door. But uh, okay, let's uh, go inside. We'll take a look at the birds and the aviary and uh, then we'll wrap this one up. Okay, so let's take a little walk inside here. Okay, you can see there's a couple of birds right there feeding. Let me go ahead and latch this door just to make sure nothing can uh, get out behind me. 
Uh, right there, that's the uh, the little chair I was telling you about that uh, I come out and sit in the morning and have my coffee and watch the birds. Uh, over here is a little uh, uh, feed house that I built. Uh, it was basically just to keep the feed and the water out of the rain. Um, but what I did was I moved the feed out of it. Originally, I had the uh, shoebox type container in there uh, with feed, but I since then changed over to more of like a... Uh, uh, a trough type feeder I guess you'd call it. Um, I do have a one gallon um, watering uh, bucket over there or, or water over there. Uh, I am going to change that out. I'm going to put in a, uh, a nipple, poultry nipple watering system in here. This is the, the little hide box I built. And then over here I got you know some uh, tree branches and some rocks and stuff and there's actually a little little covey under there they can go into and kind of hide if they want to but uh inside the cage you can see it's it's all pretty simple construction i mean it's you know two by fours that are just screwed together uh the the vertical one here in the center is just for a little bit more support for the wire same with that one there <clears throat> and here's the uh rafters for the roof you can also see there is half inch wire and over on this side is uh, the poultry cloth or the poultry wire and on top of it is the tarp. And that's, that's a heavy duty tarp, it's supposed to be UV rated and everything. But uh, for the price of uh, uh, regular roof sheets, either metal roof sheets or the uh, plastic uh, corrugated roof sheets, <coughs> I could buy you know six of those tarps for the cost of trying to put a hard roof on this. So I thought that would be a little bit better way to go than, than worrying about, uh, about having a hard roof on it. <clears throat> so guys, that's pretty much it. Um, like I say, there are, I am gonna make some changes, uh, you know, between the plants outside. I am uh, talking with a few other breeders that have aviary setups. Uh, trying to figure out uh, what types of plants I can put inside the aviary uh, that's not going to be harmful to the birds and you know it's going to be easy to grow. Obviously I don't have the depth of soil in here to plant them directly but I thought what I could do is uh, get some uh, potted plants and put them in there and then maybe kind of hide the pot with some uh, you know some furniture decorations or whatnot the rocks and the sticks and that kind. Okay guys, so I want to thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you found this build interesting. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please post them in the comment section down below. I try to get in there and, uh, and answer the questions as often as possible. Uh, but the build is really simple. Uh, if you've got the room and you've got the time, uh, it's, it's not a hard project to do. And I think like I say, I, I don't normally keep my birds outside, but I think this is going to be a nice addition to the, uh, the whole quail project. Uh, one, because I can come, up, come out in the morning, drink my coffee, and sit here with the quail and uh, you know, just kind of watch them in a more naturalistic habitat. So, uh, Guys, again, thank you for joining me. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me out. You'll get notified of any new and upcoming videos. Um, appreciate it, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.